Well, dress to impress takes on a whole new meaning in the new film, Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris, where a widowed cleaning lady falls madly in love with a Dior gown. And the journey she takes to buy it is a heartfelt one that will change her and everyone around her. Take a look. Now these two are a proper judge of character. They're like you, Ada Harris. Why they stick with you if they're so smart? Why do you stick with her? They're so crabby. Met in my first shift building planes. Never had a better friend. Trouble with this one? She always speak the truth. <laughs> Can't help herself. That yeah, is a terrible affliction. <laughs> All right, behave yourself, ladies. I'll be watching you. And star Jason Isaacs joins us now. Welcome. So good to have Hi. you. I feel terrible that uh, that clip is of a grubby pub in London, but she then goes, as you know, to Paris, when the, the picture yes. is full of color and beauty and it sweetness really and light and, uh, it is such and a not sweet. me. No, but it's, such a, it's a sweet, heartfelt movie. I loved watching this because it's like, it's easy to watch and you get like, just caught you in just it right talk, away. Talk, keep keep no, but it. I love it. Because I hate selling things. I hate telling no, people it's really, a lovely it's film. Really, but really that's exactly cool. what people have seen it say. Yeah, so tell us like just a little bit about the film and your character, Archie. Well, I can set it up in a slightly different way. I watched it for the first time two nights ago. I'd yeah. not seen it because uh, I knew I was coming to talk to you and other people. So I watched it with my 20-year-old daughter who loves me but doesn't want to stay in the room for longer than five minutes. <laughs> my wife who goes to bed at 9 o'clock, has long COVID normally. And my mother-in-law who can't watch a film without speaking all the way through. And they all <laughs> sat there glued. And at the end, they all yes. went in unison and they went, I love that film. <laughs> I think I so said that out loud when I finished it that's, too. That's what the film does. And frankly, these are some pretty dark days we're going through at the moment, depending yes. on where you get your information from. So uh, it's a, just a great escape for everyone. I it think. really is a great escape. And this journey... Which is not answering your question at all. I'm sorry. That's okay. Was no, it? that was enough of a, a, enough of a tease. But, so the journey that Mrs. Harris goes on mm -hmm. is, is not only... It doesn't just change her, but it changes the house of Dior too. How so? Yeah. Tell us how that happened. Well, it changes everyone around her. The thing about yeah. her is it would be easy to think, oh, well, it's a patch story about a working-class woman she's not educated but she's incredibly smart and yes, wise yes. and honest and she uh, she reaches for the best in herself and that I found that in life and if you find it too yeah it radiates everyone around her is affected by her optimism yes. and her ability to, to make things better and look for a solution so yeah she changes deal it's at a time of enormous industrial action yeah. and turmoil and she brings uh, just a simple honest uh, positive sensibility to deal in the way that the film does to the audience. Yeah, and, it, and you know, like I said, this is a journey for her, but there's, you know, kind of like a little inspiring, there's a twist at the end. What, yeah. When you read this for the first time, what inspired you about the film? I just thought, uh, first of all, I heard what it was about and I thought, well, I'm not going to like this. I'm not going to enjoy <laughs> reading it. And I find myself, you know, I'm very soppy. I find myself reaching for the Kleenex uh, yeah. at the end. And I, I just thought, it was lovely. It wasn't, uh, there was no cynicism in it. Yeah. And I also thought, I wonder how the hell they're going to do Paris in the 50s and all those dresses. And how Jenny, our think? incredible costume designer, who is bedecked with Oscars for many other things, yeah. uh, created these dresses. Now, frankly, that bit doesn't touch me that much. But oh, when they were on me. the screen, my wife, daughter, and mother in law went, oh, 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 every time a dress came on the screen. Yeah. So there's a whole layer that I didn't get. But just by itself, the script I thought was romantic in my part, particularly, I got to be very romantic. Which you did. Lovely. But also, like, it's hard to turn a movie down that's filmed in Paris, right? Well, it wasn't filmed in Paris. Okay, well, I should tell you that we'll because Paris doesn't look like Paris does in the 50s, so yeah. we shot in Hungary. Oh. Um, but Leslie Manville is a heroine of mine. She's a magnificent yeah. uh, actress. People will know from many things, but she was Oscar nominated for uh, Phantom Thread, for instance. Nice. And I've been watching her since I, we're basically the same age, but I've been watching her since I was a drama yeah. student. She and was to, delightful. To, to be opposite her is to be opposite someone at the very height of their game. Yeah. She's incredible. Yeah. Well, um, other news you just got off a TV show, Good Sam, and you got to kind of expand your resume by doing some directing on that. So I did get to direct. Everyone what was, was very like kind. stepping behind the camera? Uh, it was odd because uh, they're my friends. The other actors are my yeah, friends yeah. and I love working with them. And then suddenly I had a director's hat on and I was like, what are they doing? Why aren't they here? Why are they calling their mother? They should have gone to the toilet before. Yes. Why don't they know their lines? And uh, so, did so you that was enjoy odd. It? I loved every second of it. It was very kind. It was, it was a woman-led show. The, uh, the incredible Katie Wett had written it yeah. and it was produced by uh, the people who produced Jane the Virgin. It was, all, it was women all the way down. And it. Uh, it created a completely di different atmosphere on the set. It was just the most supportive, lovely atmosphere. And yeah. they very kindly allowed me uh, to be an honorary lady and direct. And uh, it was just a joy. Yeah. Well, you've done so many different projects. Sorry, can I just say, genres. Sophia Bush is good, Sam. And oh, okay, she yeah. is the... She, the atmosphere trickles down from the top in any workplace, and yeah. she made the place a lovely place to work. Yeah. Well, you've done so many different projects. What do fans most want to talk to you about? 
Oh my God, uh, it depends who they are. The OA is huge. Every yeah. time online, the, the, the OA that Netflix canceled, boo, I can hear people booing I at home. I too. love Netflix, boo. don't say that. The death of Stalin at the moment because uh, of the terrible things going on in Ukraine. Yeah. The parallels, although it's satirical comedy, it's also kind of terrifying the echoes across time. Yeah. And um, I, I don't really like looking backwards. I've got some amazing things coming up. So well, whatever they want back. to talk about, I steer them onto what's coming That's next. Like idea. Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris, which That's opens right. on Friday. Yes, you can instance. catch Jason and Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris when it hits theaters this Friday. Thank you so much, Jason. Thanks for having Good to me. See you.